guys and welcome to our official website for your first FFTCG lesson. Exciting, isn't it? If you want to learn the ropes, the first thing you need to do is hit that big blue button over there. So let's go. And just like that, people, the tutorial begins. We've hired a special Moogle instructor who's super experienced and he's going to kindly take us through chapter one with a question. What sort of game is FFTCG? Hmm. Now that's a tough one. What do you think? Drum roll. It's a trading card game, of course it is, and a physical trading card game, I might add, in which you can summon lots of characters from the Final Fantasy series and battle with your opponent. So yes, it's a two-player versus game, and the cool thing about it, as you've probably figured out by now, is that you can mix and match your favorite characters, summons, monsters and whatnot from the series, as we have over 30 titles covered. So that's definitely a lot of the material for you to create an absolute beast of a team. The sky is the limit. The rules are extremely simple, the first person to hit their opponent with 7 points of damage wins the game. FFTCG is dead easy to pick up, but it's gonna take you a little while to master. So how do we deal damage? Now that's a good question, let's find out. In FFTCG, in order to deal damage, we're gonna attack our opponent with our forwards. Now don't be scared, forwards equals attackers, the forwards are your attackers, okay? If your opponent doesn't, because they can choose not to or can't block your attack, you deal them 1 point of damage. In this case, you've already dealt 6 points of damage, and if you attack with your forward, Tifa, over here, you'll win. Simple. Now let's stop there for a second. What you see here is essentially your playing field. Typically, if you were playing in a store, you'd be using a nice playmat, and that playmat would be split in half, with the front part being used for your forwards, your attackers, and the rear part for your backups. In FFTCG, we're playing with 50 card decks, and every time you receive a point of damage in the game, you're gonna flip the top card of your deck and place it in your damage zone. So you can see, your opponent has 6 cards in there, it simply means they've received 6 points of damage. Easy peasy. Now let's try to attack with Tifa. You can tell she's a forward because all forwards in the game have their power level indicated in the bottom right corner of the card. So for example, Tifa has 8000 power. Now let's select her, attack, and kaboom! That's a win! Now, we need to find out what different types of cards there are and how to play them, right? This would be chapter 2, but I don't like doing things in order. I want to give you a sneak peek of some exciting stuff. So let's go to the chapter list. This is everything the tutorial has to offer and we're gonna jump straight ahead to 6.1. See you there. Welcome back folks. I hope you're ready because things are about to get real. This is chapter 6.1 and we've been tasked with winning in one turn using Brynhildir to defeat our opponent. Now I'm really sorry if I butchered this one and if we happen to have an Nordic mythology expert watching the show please feel free to correct us in the comments below. Thank you. And with that said, in this chapter, you have to play cards yourself to defeat your opponent. You are on your own. Not really. Try to make it through, and if you get lost, get a hint from the Moogle. Or just carry on watching, really. It works just the same. Now here's the situation we're facing, and it may look a tad intimidating not knowing the game so well. But don't worry, we're gonna break it down. What do we know? What have we learned so far? Well. We know that we can win the game by dealing our opponent 7 points of damage, and the good news is they're currently on 6. The bad news is, so are we, so it's a pretty tight situation. Luckily for us, it's our turn, so let's make this one count. The first thing we want to do is review the board state. What I mean by this is that we need to assess the situation, see which cards are in play, and what are the options at our disposal to take the win. So let's take a quick look. We've got one forward here, remember, they have their power level in the bottom right corner of the card. So that's a squire, and it's on 5000. Our opponent also has a forward on their field. This is Vincent, and he's on 7000. So if I try to attack with my squire, and my opponent chooses to block with their Vincent, which they will, because they're already on 6 points damage, hmm, things are not gonna end up too well for me, are they? No. Instead, I need to find a way to get rid of that Vincent first and then attack with my squire once this area is clear. And this is precisely where Brynhildi is gonna come into play. It's currently sitting in my hand, meaning it's concealed from my opponent. Let's take a closer look at the card's text. 
choose one forward. Did it, 7000 damage. Perfect, then I just need to cast Brynhild here, one shot that Vincent to get it out of the way, and then attack with my squire to deal that last point of damage I so desperately need. The only unknown in the equation left is, how do I cast that summon? And more generally, how do I play cards in FFTCG? Well, it's super simple. In order to play cards, you need to pay their cost, and that cost appears in the upper left corner of the card. Let's take that Evoker, for instance. It's a backup, and it's gonna cost you one crystal point. Brynhildir, on the other hand, is a summon, and it's gonna cost you three crystal points. Crystal points are the main resource in FFTCG. We're gonna use them to pay for cards and certain abilities, and there are two ways to generate them. The first one is to discard from your hand. So take that card, Brynhildir. If I were to put it in the break zone, which is essentially my discard pile, it would give me two fire crystal points, okay? Two fire crystal points. Why fire, you ask? Well, it's simple, it's a fire card. I obviously don't want to do this because this is the very summon I'm trying to cast, so I'm gonna have to resort to the other method. Let's try to play it. So I need to pay three crystal points, and for that I'm gonna be using my backups, because you see the primary function of backups is to generate crystal points. You do so by dulling them, which is turning the card sideways like this. And every time you do so, it gives you one crystal point of their element. And just like that, I have my three backups dulled and I've paid the cost for Brynhildir. I just need to choose a target now, choose my forward, so Vincent, obviously. Select him and boom, 7000 damage. The road is clear and I can land the attack with my squire and secure my second victory of the day. We hope you enjoyed this first preview of FFTCG. Now, we've only just scratched the surface, so do try the whole tutorial for yourself. It's tons of fun and will get you to grips with the game's mechanics in no time. You can also download the beginner's guide from our rules section and like our Facebook page where you can get in touch with us and our lovely community.